Hello everyone, Nikki here and I am back after 6 months of not posting any videos and I will make another one talking about why I didn't show up for the last 6 months. Uh, interesting story, um, but I am back. A lot of you guys have requested for my last video, the one that I was talking about my special diet with um, GERD and a lot of you have requested that I make another one um, showing what I eat in a day. So I am here and let's just get right into it. So I actually made some notes here so that I won't forget anything but pretty much it's a pretty simple diet. Well um, this is my own diet what works for me and I'm just gonna share it with you but you can do whatever you want because everyone is different and depends on the severity of your um, the issue that you have. Um, so maybe your doctor might be the best person to recommend uh, what your diet should be but usually I mean I've seen a lot of doctors and at the end they all comes back to just try to avoid spicy food, acidic food and try to not drink a lot of alcohol. So that's pretty much it. My diet as I mentioned in the last video is very simple and I just found that just changing into eating simple food and like okay it's I have to be honest is that can get boring but then the fact that I have been so much healthier and um, I didn't have to take a single pills for my stomach for my reflux problem for more than five months now that makes me really happy and I've learned to just enjoy the simplicity of the food so let's get into it let's just try to stick to um, non-spicy and non-acidic food now so for me, like what trigger my uh, reflux the most is the black peppers and some certain spicy food, but mostly black peppers and then um, really like sour stuff like uh, lemon. But I can't really like just you know even have a little bit of lemon on my food. Like it was start to irritate my stomach. So uh, black peppers and you know like acidic food triggers my um, reflux really badly. But again, like depends on the person. You can be okay with that, and you know it's just based on yourself. So um, I also find that my the temperature of the food that I eat and the texture can also sometimes like irritates my stomach as well and give me really bad reflux. Um, so this is a simple healthy diet that I usually um, go by, and I, I switch it up sometimes. But there's certain um, uh, items that I really like, like so there's a certain food that I really enjoy and then I just kind of mix it, change it out, um, try out new things as long as it's not nothing acidic um, or spicy. So um, I also find that um, if I split my meals into like three, four meals um, and then snack in between, so instead of eating like three big meals like breakfast, big breakfast and a big lunch and dinner, um, I feel like eating smaller meals that like, works really really well for me. Um, I don't feel as uncomfortable afterward and for that reason I don't get that reflux. Um, and then when I, whenever I get reflux, like, when it's bad, like it makes me want to like throw up and then I would get like dizzy and it's kind of, yeah, it's weird but um, maybe you know each of you have a dif different symptoms and you can share that with me. I would love to hear and whichever the food that it works for you also share it with me because I would love to try them out and the thing is about trying so just trying see what works for you so okay here's my breakdown so I combining my snack and my meals into one two three four five six meals um, pretty much three meals and then like three snacks so in breakfast for breakfast I usually either drink a warm glass of milk um, again for me the temperature is very important because I tried this before when I drink a cold glass of water or cold glass of milk like I feel the reflux or like I just feel the uncomfortableness so for me I just heat it up for like 30 seconds just to warm it up and then I have a glass of more milk with either cereal or a toast and um, you know I do that not every day but then usually that's what I eat but then also I love oatmeal oatmeal is so comforting um, they have this instant oatmeal that works in the microwave for literally less than a minute and then you have your oatmeal um, or I have a small bowl of rice hot rice and I make an egg scrambled eggs or whatever kind of eggs I feel that day um, and then I eat it with my rice so mm, that's it so I just kind of mix that up you know every day or 
um, once in a while I change it into something else maybe I have um, a banana with my toes and uh, some nuts with my uh, yogurt or you know things like that just find the thing that you like and then um, mix it up once in a while and then um, after breakfast like during maybe like around 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock depends on when I feel the discomfort I don't know if you guys have the discomfort but sometimes when I start to get hungry I can feel the discomfort and then like the reflux starting to come so when usually I try to not to get to that point but um, just you know you have a couple minutes just get a little snack like maybe uh, some nuts would be good um, or like dry fruit so I usually I love um, just you know snack, snack on a banana um, and then some dry fruits you can again mix it up I love um, I love olives by the way so I snack on olives on it's funny because I actually have one here right now this little um, snack side um, olives that you can bring with you anywhere is very con very convenient so I snack on that for my snack um, also yogurt as well very easy you can bring with you anywhere in your office where you work and then just you know eat it at your desk um, and then lunchtime um, I usually just eat rice <laughs> I'm Asian so I love rice so I eat rice with um, grill I try to not use too much oil or at least use the healthy oil like coconut oil olive oil um, so I grill um, chicken breast chicken thighs or um, ground meat works really well too and easy to cook so just use you know less oil because um, too much oil can really irritate your stomach as well um, so I eat my rice with a side of steamed vegetable try to get a lot of vegetable in there and um, either grill fish chicken uh, have a piece of steak sometimes if you feel like it but um, just try to make the size not too large like maybe you can have a a larger dinner but then for lunch just, just have a good side like maybe a palm side piece of protein of your choice and um, for the rice if you don't like rice you can either have pasta a little bit of pasta or quinoa or just something that you like and then next I usually also have another snack around like maybe like three o'clock um, and then again like you can choose either fruits a piece of fruit some I love grapes so I have like a small bowl of grapes um, and then again nuts things like that and then we go home after work and um, dinner again like we always have rice at our house and I always have to make vegetable um, I love just steam plain vegetable or you can boil it and make it into like a soup uh, that's very comforting for your stomach as well and really I feel like the temperature of the food really helps with my reflux and, um, so you try it out and see um, if it works and let me know and then after dinner usually maybe like an hour later or to just have another snack if you feel like it you know I usually have a little bit of um, um, yogurt with fruit um, but then that's it for the night and I drink a lot of water throughout the day I drink more than 32 ounces so I have a 32 ounces bottle that I bring to work but I usually drink more when I get home and drink usually I finish it really fast and then I would drink more so drink water and if you can drink like warm water it will be better for your stomach and just help with the digestion better um, and that's it that ideally as well you don't want to eat too late like you don't want to have a full stomach and then you go to sleep with that because that will cause the reflux as well so yeah that's it that is just my uh, my own like diet plan for my GERD and I wanted to share with you because you asked for it and I hope you find it helpful but um, you can go ahead and try to try some of the items that I suggested and the way that I prepare my food um, definitely like I think just you know soft texture is really easy for your stomach especially um, because like we have so much acid in our stomach that you know like depends on, depends on the case but for me like mine was really badly damaged so um, definitely soft food like feels really good in my stomach and then warm food not nothing cold I mean you can still have ice cream sometime um, but yeah ideally especially in the morning that's when I can really like see the difference if I drink like a cold glass of water and a warm glass of water um, 
Yeah, so customize your diet based on what you want, um, what you like to eat because, you know, you're going to have to stick with it for a while for your stomach to heal, the lining to heal and um, I mean, it's a good healthy diet so if you can really follow it, I don't see why not um, but, you know, when you get better, like I've been a lot better now and yesterday I had a little bit of spicy food and I felt fine so, you know, maybe we can really heal this and cure it hopefully but i'm still trying to be good and just once in a while i would have like i don't know an orange or something spicy but i don't try to do it every day so yeah that's it for now um i will see you guys next time if you guys have any questions again welcome to put any comments any suggestions or questions and i would um, happy to answer them and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye